Our next founder is John Pickering. I want to do a brief aside and say that there are two John Pickerings during the American Revolution. One is brothers with uh, uh, Timothy Pickering, who was a very important person in the Washington administration. This is not Pick Timothy's brother. This is John Pickering from New Hampshire, who ends up being a judge. Now, Pickering was a successful lawyer as the revolution broke out. He was becoming a successful lawyer. He doesn't really jump into the war at first, but he does uh, help New Hampshire write its first and then later second constitution. And after this, he's brought in to, uh, after independence, he, be, he becomes a member of the state house of representatives. So he is, uh, uh, he does help create New Hampshire, but it's not until later when he is actually chosen as chief justice of the state of New Hampshire that he really comes into play. Being a chief justice is an extremely important job uh, after the war is over, as we mentioned before. Now, he's in this position for five years when President George Washington chooses him to sit as a uh, uh, on the United States District Court for the District of New Hampshire. He becomes a federal judge for New Hampshire, um, representing, again, the federal government when it comes to cases involving New Hampshire. So, he does this well for about eight years, and then, sadly, his mental facilities start to deteriorate. And he actually ends up making some fairly poor decisions on the court. Uh, it's about this time that President Jefferson... Uh, now President Jefferson, submits articles of impeachment to try and remove John Pickering from office. Now, you hear a lot of talk uh, reading through the letters at the time about drunkenness. They're accusing him of drunkenness and malpractice. The truth of the matter is, the, the articles of impeachment don't specifically say anything like this. They just accuse him of the one thing you can be impeached for, crimes and misdemeanors. Now, the argument presented by Federalists, because Pickering was a Federalist, the argument presented by the Federalists was, well, what crimes did he commit and what misdemeanors did he commit? Sure, he's losing his mind, but that's not a reason to remove someone from office, not according to the Constitution. Can't be removed for losing your mind. And then, to which the Democratic-Republicans responded, yeah, you can. It's, you know, it might not be a crime, but he's making misdemeanors with these really obviously poor decisions he's making. And it was kind of known at the time. Like, he, he was sadly was losing his faculties. Um, I, when it goes to the House of Representatives, they uh, impeach him by a, a, an extraordinary margin. It was like 45 to 5, or I don't remember the exact numbers, but it was in the 40s to single digits. So he... The House was like, yeah, absolutely get rid of him. It goes to the Senate, and it's not quite as disparaging, but it's it's an overwhelming decision to remove him from office. And he is removed, and, and sadly he dies just a year later after, you know, uh, I guess not a lifetime of service to the American Revolution, but certainly uh, uh, a good amount of service to his country. That's a brief summation of John Pickering, who is the first federal judge to be successfully impeached. I guess I should note, Samuel Chase was a, uh, a an associate justice of the Supreme Court that was impeached, but then when it went to trial in the Senate, he did not uh, get convicted of his crimes. Uh, John Pickering is the first person to have an impeachment go to the Senate and be convicted and removed from office. 